All right, so I'm actually going to pull out another card here. Let's see what we have. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so that's upright, so um, satisfactory. So let's start at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> so we have four wands total, four wand energy total. So we have the first one, which is um, the Seven of Wands. And traditionally, in this situation, I feel that you feel very burdened in the past. You, you feel like, you might feel like you don't have other people's support, that you're fighting, uh, you're going against the tide and you're, you have to fight very hard. And I feel like things are going to turn this month in that you, you can put it down, you don't have to be on the defense. I feel like your luck is turning this month, you know. Also, um, we're towards the end of um, that, that Capricorn cycle, too, with January rolling in and... Um, I feel that this new year might bring, you know, better luck for you. Just because you you're tired of the fighting and you want to find peace, you know, physical or inner peace. Um the ace of cups is also in reverse appearing next to the 7 of wands. And the ace of cups promises um emotional abundance where you're overflowing. And sometimes it could also denote like a new love, a new love situation that's coming in, or the start of a new relationship. It is also in reverse. So I feel like this is, you are fighting very hard for, to, to maintain the relationships in your life. And, you know, towards this month, you might feel like, you know, you're re getting ready. You're just going to give up. You're, you're getting ready to put down that wand and stop fighting. Just because you realize that the other people are not reciprocating. The other people are not putting in the effort as well. So I know it's a damper energy for the beginning of the month. But at the same time, it's it brings about inner peace, I feel. In that you, you can assess the situation. You can understand other people's roles and their motives in this. And then you can, you know, let that go and put down your wand and stop fighting. Um, the next card is very good. It is um, the Ten of Pentacles, which promises material and uh, emotional abundance. And I feel like it's a family completion type of card. You have ten of them. And, um, you know, the old man here, he's happy. The couple, is, they're happy. The two dogs are happy. And they're pretty well off. They have material abundance. On top of that, they there seems to be the young and old, everyone is taken care of. The, the little child in the corner, and he's happy. So it, it's a whole completion cycle, and it's material and also emotional and spiritual abundance with this card. So I feel like you're going to stop fighting. Even though the Ace of Cups is in reverse earlier, and you, you want this grand gesture of, of love, and you know, just, you want you want someone to come to you and proclaim how much they love you. And I, I feel like it's not coming, but at the same time, the the proof is already there. So I feel like you don't really need that proclamation, you know, out loud, because look at everything that's around you. You have the people that love you. So, you know, you have everything you need here to reaffirm that. You, you don't need an additional sign, I feel. The next card is the tower. The tower is in reversed. And I feel like, you know, right off the heel of the Ten of um, Pentacles card, I feel like this is something that might have happened in the past. I don't feel that it's this energy for this month just because the month is so... Um, it, the month is so lighthearted and prosperous with a lot of wands. I feel like this energy is definitely something that happened in the past. Maybe in the past month. Maybe there were... Um, catastrophic news that you know shook your foundation and you don't know how to move forward but in this situation the tower is in reverse so I feel like it's definitely something that happened last month or recently that you've come to terms with and you know how to forge a new path ahead and you're even though this might not have been resolved but the fact that the news is out in the open or you then you know that at least there's nothing you can do, either that, so you come to terms with it, or you have found solutions already that are still in the works that you need to flush out. 
So, <clears throat> and, you know, speaking of flushing out, they're basically being flushed out of the tower by fire. So I feel like this catastrophic news might have happened like last month in Sagittarius, which would be a bummer for you around your birthday. So I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so I feel like you're overcoming this or you, you've found ways to cope with this where it's not going to affect you on an emotional and spiritual level. And, you know, because all around you is abundance. So don't let this energy interfere with it. And I feel like you, you've you got your head on straight. You're not going to let this get in the way. So the next one we have is uh, Four of Wands. And, you know, it is also a, uh, a celebration as well. And also a very stable home, I feel. It's almost like a marriage card, like a big celebration regarding a family, like a reunion or something regarding the completion coming full circle with the home front. Um, you have the four wands with the wreaths and laurels and, you know, the ba uh, castle in the back. The women are happy. They're celebrating. It's in the upright position as well. So, you know, you have this great energy. And I feel like coupled with this card too, it might be a, a family situation that, have troubled you in the past but now people are coming around to your way of thinking and they're they're showing you how devoted they are with the ones the ones um, shows passion and also you know being being straightforward and being honest and the Pentacles just the, the ten of Pentacles so I feel feel like the home life should be incredibly happy and welcoming for you this month <clears throat> Um, the next card that is right next to the Four of Wands is the King of Wands, and he is showing up in reverse. So, as a Sagittarius, I feel that in this situation, this could be you, and um, or this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. But, um, so if you have somebody like that, I would imagine it would be in a home situation, like someone you're living with or someone who's in your family that you're dealing with extensively. If this energy is you, and uh, let me go ahead and read this as if it were you. Because it is underneath the Ace of Cups. So I feel like the Ace of Cups, you know, whatever you're hoping, that uh, emotional renewal or, you know, that emotional proclamation from the rooftop from somebody that you care about, is not coming in therefore you've you've become this very deflated person you're no longer exhibiting the positive qualities and characteristics of a Sagittarius where they're carefree they're very spiritual and you, you know and and they're very um they're extremely extremely well careless but at the same time you know well-meaning but careless um they're just free-spirited. So I feel like that energy, that, that side of you is being dampened because that emotional connection or the emotional um, proclamation you're hoping for is not com coming in. So you feel like a little deflated. And um, on top of that, the hangman. The hangman is in the upright position. So I feel like there's something troubling you and you're retreating within yourself to find like enlightenment you're looking at things from a different angle you know to find a solution to it which is good which is a great thing to do and as a Sagittarius um, it's great to turn inward because I feel like Sagittarius don't spend enough time to do introspection so I think this is a good opportunity for you to do that and it's unfortunate that the tower has to happen for you to do this but um, I feel like you will in fact reach enlightenment and the next one is <clears throat> the Six of Cups in reverse, and it's coming up right behind the hangman. The Six of Cups upright is um, it's a soulmate connection. It's a connection from lifetimes past or, you know, somebody that um, from your past that you have a very positive and just a very surreal and sincere emotional connection with. And um, in the reverse position, I feel that you might be dwelling on this a little too much. The hangman, he has his halo, you know, he has the spirit.
spiritual faculty to basically um, find enlightenment. But um, I feel it's, it's kind of hampered by this Six of um, Cups in that you're reflecting too much about the past rather than forging forward because Sagittarius are very good at forgetting things, like leaving things in the past and just moving on. I feel like Sagittarius uh, tread very lightly through life. So, you know, they um, they have outbursts and then they get over it. But in this situation, there is um, a lot of dwelling on the past, a lot of um, yearning for that, um, for better days that passed, you know, yearning for that childhood state in which you're carefree and there were less troubles. So you're, you're looking at that and you're you're very nostalgic about achieving that again. You know, you, you really want that. But the reality is we can't turn back time. So that's why it's shown up in the reverse to signal to you, you know, to let it go. So as much as we all want to live in the carefree days without a lot of problems in our lives, it's also important for us to be realistic about things and to live in the present because you have so much abundance and love and celebration around you that it would be a shame for you to waste this month, if not this year, to dwell on this state that we can never go back to, you know, as beautiful and as blissful as it was. It's a fantasy and it's, it's making you lose your sense of balance and perspective. And you know, it's fine to do that once in a while to reminisce, but um, don't dwell on it. Just be very extremely thankful what you have because you do have a lot. And it shows here that um, you do have a lot in terms of material wealth, but you're just yearning for this spiritual and emotional connection that others are not giving to you. And, you know, that the universe you feel is not bestowing upon you when the universe is giving you a lot, quite a, a lot to be thankful for. Um... On an end note here, we have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is a fire sign coming in, so um, this might signify a new love coming in into your life as well. So uh, it could be a man or a woman exhibiting the fire signs, the um, Leo, the Aries, or the Sagittarius. He's in the upfront position, so generally fire signs are very trustworthy, so you don't have to fear uh, about this. I'm going to pull out another card just to see... Um, Give me more insight and this is great perfect timing actually so i feel like he's rushing in and this might be the start of a new relationship because the two of cups is that spiritual union that emotional spiritual union between two people it is also a soulmate card so this is another soulmate card but it's in the reverse so you were pining for something that can never be when this man is coming in and he's promising this He's promising this. So, you know, like I said throughout the month, you're pining for that love, that great love that, you know, the type that you can shout from the rooftop. And towards the end of the month, he's actually coming in and he's giving you that type of love, that type of support. So I feel like if this is a love relationship, it's going to be splendid. If it is not a love relationship, then at least it's a it's an emotional rapport that will just please you, you know, without end. It's like, this is everything that you've been wanting to this month and you were pining after it and it's finally coming in the end of the month. And I'm so glad I pulled this card because this is a great card for you guys.